Hi and welcome to Vita with Vicki. In today's video we're going to be going over the month end budget for February. So if you're interested in that, please stick around. So what I've decided to do is do something a little different than what I've normally have done in the past and I went ahead and I put in all my expenses in my little expense tracker um, stickers and then I'm going to lay those down and then I'm going to close out the week over week budget, let you know how we ended up and then what we spent in our sinking funds. So with that, we'll go ahead and start with groceries. So what I've done is some people have a key. I've just labeled the tops of these. Um, these are from Sarah Marie. I actually saw somebody else selling them like a whole sheet of eight and a half by 11. And I think I'm going to buy those because these are like $5 for this little amount versus what you get for a full sheet. Um, so I think I'm going to go do that when I'm done with these. But for now, we'll just go ahead and put these down. So for groceries, last week we only spent $20. Um, that was to uh, just fill in some uh, fruit. So not bad, I think, and some milk, if I recall correctly. Okay, so that's groceries. Um, the next thing we'll go to is... Dining out. <laughs> Dining out we've done a lot as you can see here. Actually let me just go ahead and put the gas one down since it's just one. And we filled up on the 21st which was last Sunday. Go ahead and do that here. Alright. And then dining out. Dining out is where we always have issues. Some weeks were good and some weeks were not. In the latter part of the month, we were pretty heavy. And that's just because we did a sushi run from Grubhub for a local restaurant here. Which, you know, it's not bad. We're putting money into the economy. But it is not great for our budget. Okay, so we did that on Friday. We were having a meatless Friday for Lent. And then... McDonald's for the kids on the 20th. We seem to like, whenever we get out of the house, we always get the McDonald's. They seem accustomed to, hey, we get in the car, we're going to McDonald's. So that's kind of what they're used to. You know what's interesting? So we live in a town that's like rightly, right next to another county. So we're like kind of on the border. And what's interesting is our county's sales tax is a little less than the county next door. And I noticed, where is it? Uh, over here. In our county, it's thirteen forty six for two um, Happy Meals. And in the county, in the neighboring county, it's up uh, a few cents here. So I thought that was pretty funny. Only if you're a nerd like me do you pay attention to stuff like that. <laughs> so we're going to do the 25th here for McDonald's. And then on that same day... It was a day that I just didn't feel like cooking, so we also got Panda for the adults. And that includes my mom who stays with us during the week while we're working. She helps with the kids. All right, and then yesterday we did Carl's because we left the house and the kids and the hubby wanted takeout. All right, that's funny. They got takeout, but I did not, and I still gained weight, so go figure. Okay. So that is dining out, and then we have unexpected. So I had a baby shower gift, and normally like I would take this out of gifts, but uh, I just kind of took it out of baby shower. I mean, out of um, unexpected, because it really was unexpected that I got invited to this virtual baby shower. So I got her two boxes of diapers, which I thought, you know, it comes in handy when you have a newborn. And then this was remaining, Dollar Tree was remaining stuff for um, Valentine's Day. And I also got, if you notice, this backdrop here. I made this out of contact paper at Dollar Tree and a poster board. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was someone's idea on YouTube and I copied it. <laughs> and then, let's see, sinking funds. We've got a birthday gift. This was a true birthday gift for our neighbor who was having a party here on the... Okay, so I actually took it out on the 20th, but the party was here. And it was just our neighbor 
She turned 11, so I got her a little diary off of Amazon. And then we're trying to get Camila to drink out of a sippy cup her milk. She still wants her bottle and I need to break this girl. So I think we're gonna be trying different sippy cups because she's not a fan of the ones that I bought. Okay, so that is the rest of um, the rest of February for our expenses that we track. This last week I count for March, so you will see that in March. But let's go ahead and flip to the weekly check-in. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you in. Let's see here. And just pay attention to this section here. Okay, so groceries for the third week of February, we were at 121.94. My son broke my Erin Condren pen. I was so upset. So now I'm using this Paper Mate flare. So bummed. But oh well, what are you going to do? That's kids for you. Okay, so at the end of the third week, we had a remainder of 210.95. And I'm going to go back to weekly check ins, guys, because that helps me. Even though I do this on my own, I like to stay accountable. And post the videos okay so we put no gas for the third week and we had a remainder of 58.72 and it's funny because when I went to go put gas on the fourth week I was like I couldn't remember how much I had left and so I just was like okay I know it's under 50 or it's around 50 so I made sure it was under 50 okay for the third week of February we were actually pretty good week over week prior to this for dining out but this week we were at 121.22 which is just ridiculous, but I think we had sushi again and we were starting to get used to that palette. That's what happens. Amazon, nothing. Even though I've used Amazon, I've used sinking funds. So we had that left over and this is gonna go away for, for next month. And then unexpected, we spent 43.30. So we had 131.00. 83 remaining and so for the end of the month I'm actually really excited with how we ended up the month except for dining out <laughs> so we definitely have to up that uh, 2046 for groceries so we were left with 190 49 and that really doesn't happen very often um, I just used what we had and did a lot of pantry challenges Gassy, I wanted to be under 50, so we had a leftover of 9.54. Dining out, we spent 81.90, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my Erin Condren to let you know we were over budget by 56.66. Ugh. And then Amazon. Zero. And then unexpected, we had a total of 193.03 for the month. I mean, for the week, excuse me. For the week? Yeah, because of the diapers. Uh, so we ended up still with a positive, which isn't bad because every month, if you've been following, you know, I always blow our budget. So overall, we were under budget by $400.34. Really by $234 because this 200, oops, 200, um, you know, we, we just didn't use. So we were under budget. Not bad. I'm so excited about this, guys. So excited. February budget. If you have any questions, let me know. I was thinking, you know, I could put like stickers here and denote what color means what, if that's helpful. The other thing I wanted to ask you if you've stayed this long is, you know, I used to do cash envelopes and I miss it, but I'm not using cash. And so I thought, you know, would it be helpful to kind of get fake money off the internet, like off of um, Amazon and just visualize what our sinking funds look like? Because, you know, we have a lot of sinking funds. But would it be helpful to visualize it in cash um, for now? And then when I move some of these back into cash envelopes when the world opens up, you know, obviously I'll do that. 
let me know if you'd like to see um, cash cash stuffing envelopes with basically fake money, but just to visualize a representation of what this looks like. All right, well with that, uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And I look forward to hearing how your February ended up. Let me know, did you go over on your week to week budget? Did you stuff different envelopes this month? Let me know how things worked out for you guys. And with that, um, I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Bye.